Looking at this app, it looks like a normal app, but internally it's not built the same way that any other mobile app has ever been built. It's built on an open source renderer that works on React Native, Flutter, Swift UI, Kotlin, Unity, and the Unreal Engine. Now, I used to believe that I have to write code in order to render my mobile app UI, but I didn't write any code to build this UI. I also didn't generate any code to build this UI. I personally don't want to write code to build my UI anymore. That doesn't mean that I don't want to write code. I just enjoy writing the business logic and the problem solving code more than I like fiddling around with spacing and sizing in code just to render a basic UI. So I decided to go on a mission to find a fun and more expressive way to build mobile app UI for any framework. Now I had four clear objectives when I started this mission. Number one, I want to visually build my UI and not write it as text in a code editor. Number two, I don't want to maintain any UI code. That means things like Figma to code generators is completely out of the question and is not an option. Number three, I wanted to work on any framework that you can build mobile apps with. And number four, I have to personally enjoy using it and be more productive with it. This led me to building my mobile app UI using the open source Rive Runtime. And the results of this experiment is a cross framework called Expression UI. It's a framework that helps you build mobile app UI using the Rive Runtime. I'm currently building my new app using Expression UI. And this will be the official first production app using Expression UI. And I want to kind of show you how it looks in code as well as the UI editor. It's built in Flutter. So for those that are not familiar with it, please bear with me. I will be releasing the React Native, Swift and Kotlin example apps soon. But the code is not that difficult. This is majority of the code how you will see it. You will have an expression view that references this artboard. And that is what will be drawn on screen. I've already built majority of my app using this approach. So far, over 90% of the app that you're seeing on screen is built with Expression UI. It's 90% because there's a 10% where you kind of have to hook up everything. And I want to show you that as well in this video. I'm currently using the Rive editor to build my UI, but that is only for the MVP. I'll tell you more about my next steps later, but I didn't want to spend time building an editor before I could use the Rive rendering runtime. This is how things currently look. You'll see at the bottom, I have artboards that represent entire views. And above that, you'll see that I have artboards that look more like individual widget components. That one there is my bottom navigation bar. Expression UI is built in a composable way. And I'm going to use this set of widgets here to kind of show you what I mean with that. If I go to my paywall, which is the view that I showed you, you'll see that I can scroll on this view. And there's an overlay widget at the bottom that is not attached to that bottom view. Now, if you look at this, you'll see an entire long view drawn completely on this runtime. And then I have this button over here. Now I can compose that on top of the existing one simply by referencing the code in that way. So my body will be the paywall artboard, which will be at the back. I set that to scrollable, which does a few things internally and allows it to scroll. And then on my bottom navigation bar, I have the Go Premium artboard, which is the one that I showed you up there. You can also mix code with expression UI. It's not one or the other. So you can choose to build only your bottom navigation using expression UI. And the rest of the app, you can keep exactly the same using code to render your UI. If you are interested in this, Click the link below and start the GitHub repo. I'll be posting more about this framework soon, so you can subscribe if you want to get those videos.